there you have it. He knows nothing. We have a bit of a, a southern draw. Coming a little while here live from oh, the uh, Moondog. So are we rolling? Hi, once again, I'm Cody Fick, alongside uh, second year moon dog Alex Burgos here at the uh, lovely ballpark they call Franklin Rogers. Here in Mankato, Minnesota, uh, Alex, talk to me a little about a little bit about uh, the Moon Dogs and the recent uh, struggles on the field. Um, excuse me. Um, I think uh, we'll be fine. You know, never been a perfect team in MLB history. Never been a perfect team. Howard came close a couple years ago. And they got one loss. So I just think you know if the ball wasn't bouncing our way. You know, the pitchers are really doing really great. We just haven't got to a lot of the hits that we uh, can't get to out. So PB and J. All right, so. Talk to me a little bit about this coaching staff. It's kind of a mixed match of some, you know, people that said scrubs. Tell me a little bit about those guys. All right, well, first we'll start off with uh, the oldest, Jim Murphy, who I think is 95th birthday on January 95, that's old. Yeah, but, you know, he still works. Get in the hole, get in the hole. <laughs> Good putt, though. Hell of a putt. It still works. You hit fungo. Talk to me a little bit about the uh, pitching coach, uh, Jason Bell. <laughs> Jason Bell is a great guy. You know, he, is, he has OCD. You know what that is? Yeah, obsessive compulsive disorder yes. for those of you who don't know. I guarantee he, everything's organized. The ball's pitching stuff is very organized. I mean, I, he's the cleanest person I've ever seen. Wow. And he just has everything organized. It's so easy to follow the program. And, uh, you know, I really like him. All right, talk to me a little bit about uh, head coach, second-year field manager, Mike Orchard. Well, Mike Orchard, also a knowledgeable guy. But, you know, his temper issues get yeah. cool. Which brings me to my next part. Sorry to cut you off. That's no, okay. Mike Orchard. Recent, uh, recently ejected from a ball game. Uh, do you care to elaborate? You know anything? Maybe uh, what did he say? I mean, do you I mean, know? I don't know what exactly was said, but to me it was a 19-year-old umpiring. He's 31 years old. It's not fair. He's gonna eat. And the umpire, he, umpire was taller than him yes, too. Yes, he's gonna chew him I up. That. You know yeah. He verbally scared the piss out of the umpire. The umpire started flinching when he started. Yeah, I saw that. So now, I just think now there's also a rumor that. He then went incognito to the beer deck after uh, he was ejected. Is that true? Is there any truth behind that? Wow, I, I don't even know about that. Yeah, I don't know about that. Okay, well, maybe you should ask one of the players. Well, that's all we have time for uh, today's installment. Uh, I invite you to join me next week. Um, hopefully, we'll have more news to report on then. Welcome to Mankato Moondogs. This is Jack. He's demonstrating the Tom House exercises. Now, in order to have a good changeup, you have to have a tattoo on your left wrist. I'm a sit hand, okay? <laughs> Focus up a little bit. Working hard. I know. I just want to give you a breather. These fucking guys are too good. Man. I just want to give you a breather. These guys are too good. We Not too good. To you got good shit. Just gotta trust it. Oh really? Well, if just I got, got trust good it. shit, I would have been a first rounder. You but I'm a fifth it. rounder. I Maybe you out. shouldn't pitch with your sunglasses I... on. Oh really? Maybe you shouldn't pitch with your oh, sunglasses. Really? You shouldn't catch with your stash because that's what I'm focusing on instead of the, hey, the good glove. So we got this guy right where we want him. Two two. Make a good pitch here. We'll get out of the inning. Uh, what do you want to call? Huh? What do you want to call? Let's go with your bread and butter. All right, knuckleball. All right, knuckleball. Let's go.